So here's your periodic table. There are some trends to be familiar with. If you're going up and to the right, uh, a couple things increase. And if you're going down and to the left, a couple things increase. So down and to the left, what increases is called shielding. Same as screening. That increases. That's a concept where the valence electrons cannot see the nucleus. So as you get more and more this direction, there's more and more valence electrons that do not see the protons in the middle. If you're up here, all valence electrons see all protons in the middle. Okay? The opposite of shielding is something called Z-effective. It's essentially the same thing. Z-effective is how many protons are seen. So if there's no shielding, then you see all the protons. So Z-effective is large. Z stands for the atomic number. Okay. Yeah? So you have, when you have shielding, like, so you have like uh, the noble gases and stuff that have all the, that have all the electrons, right? Uh -huh. So then how are they shielded from seeing the... Um, ignore noble gases in this oh. configuration. So we're talking everything not that are not noble gases. Oh. Yeah, so don't worry about those. Can you just explain what you said about the Z effect? Z effective, that's the atomic number, number of protons is Z effective. The more protons are seen when you're up here, it's the number of protons seen. Well, if there's no shielding, you see all the protons, so Z effective is large. Down here, there's a lot of shielding, so you don't see the protons, so Z effective is smaller. Now, there was a specific one that I had a little trouble with because it was negative or something. What's negative? Uh, so there's other things here. Radius increases down and to the right. The other ones that increase when you go up and to or up and to the right are ionization energy. This is always a positive energy. And then the other one is electro electron affinity. That's a negative number, but it increases up and to the right. And another one uh, So the negative number gets bigger. Electronegativity also goes that direction. This negative Electron affinity, which is a negative number, gets bigger as you go up and to the right, but it's a big negative number. Oh, okay. Yeah. Does electron affinity mean, like, the ability for the atom to gain electrons? Yes. Yes. Electron affinity is the ability to gain electrons. So, the, the ones up in the, the, the atoms in the top right corner are more likely to become ionic? Is that what it's like? Yes, to negative will more likely become negatively ionic. Uh -huh. Isn't there a trend? Um, and then, yeah. Metallic is less metallic. Metallic. I mean, you could really, if you wanted to, draw it on these arrows, but your book draws it in the middle. So metallic and non-metallic. So more metallic as you get towards cesium, less metallic as you get towards fluorine. Uh, let me, uh, one more thing, let me see if any more questions on this. Yes, so it's kind of outside of this. Okay, so if you're neutral versus a cation versus an anion, same element, which one's the largest? Yeah, so it goes like this in size, increases as you get towards the anion. The cation is really tiny, neutral is in the middle, anion is really fat. Okay? Uh, now they still follow the same trends, but you consider these in different categories. These are really, really big. These are in the middle and these are really, really small. Yes? So in order for the final, do we need to just like, will we just have a question where we need to like rank uh, uh, like our uh, uh, atoms? Exactly. Or are we going to have like, anything else that we can go apply this to? I mean, we use this for like dipoles and stuff, but like... Um, That's about it. You're just ranking atoms. Uh, yeah. Unless it's a concept question, like definition of shielding or something. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't understand what the difference is between like EN, and EN. Like, what's the uh, Ionization energy is the uh, energy ability to remove an electron from an orbit. 
removing electron, ionizing is the term for a removing electron. So that's why it's called ionization energy. So that's an energy, a joules. This is the ability to gain an electron. They're opposites. That's why they have opposite charges. I mean, opposite signs. Uh, electronegativity is derived from the sum of these two. Your book has a little derivation, but it's a comparably, it's derived energetically, those numbers, the Pauline numbers, are from these two. Uh, but essentially, if you think about it more conceptually, if if you just say electron affinity and, and uh, electronegativity are similar in that their ability to gain electrons, conceptually that might be the easiest way to think of it. So these two are pretty similar and they both gain electrons. It's the measure of gaining electrons or being able to hold electrons. Though the actual derivation of electronegativity involves these two terms. So, um, the ionization energy, that's like the energy you need to expel an electron? That's right. How, isn't that the opposite of like electron which is like, is that why it's, I don't understand. Uh, they're not equal opposites, but yeah, they're near opposite concepts. Yeah, but energetically, still... they don't turn out to be the negative of each other. Okay. Yeah, but conceptually, you're right. 